Hi there guys, welcome back to another episode here on Alia Homes. Today we're in Hollywood Hills about to explore a new listing just coming to market at $5,995,000. It has six bedrooms, seven bathrooms, sitting on a lot size of 14,255 square feet, an interior size of 5,646 square feet, and it features a zero edge pool, an entertainment paradise roof deck, and a guest house. It looks over Universal Studios, it's pretty awesome. Before we get started, I'd like to thank the listing agent, Sally Foster Jones, and the developer, Alon Takut, for inviting us into their listing today. All right, guys, let's start the tour. All right, guys, so we're starting our tour on the driveway, just coming through these beautiful redwood gates. And I think the design is fantastic. Coming down, it's hedged lovely. It's got purple and green, a little bit of pink, really nice. Now, coming forward, this driveway is rather long. It sets the tone for where we are. We're in Hollywood Hills, right on the hillside. And you'll see from the upper decks how amazing the view is from this house. Now, we have a, the motor court over here, three cars easily fit, another one over there. So it's a four car motor court and two cars in the garage. However, right now the garage has been kitted out with a cool entertainment area, which we'll see a little bit later in the tour. The facade of this house has polished concrete, two tones and a natural gray stone tiling, which reflects beautifully in the light. Now, over here is another entrance to the house, going to the foyer below and the garage, but we're gonna take these stairs up to the main front door. Come with me. I'm about to enter and it's a fantastic entranceway with a smooth concrete two-tone and look how beautiful this redwood door is with the brushed metal. Stepping through the front door, and immediately I can feel the contemporary modern feel of the house, the detailing around, the tones, truly beautiful. It's darker tones in here and the artwork is quite exquisite. To my left, we have the main staircase which serves all levels of the house, but I wanna move this way first, directly into the formal dining room. The furniture is beautiful, the tones again matching perfectly with the natural gray stone flooring throughout this space and look how beautiful this electric heater is with a fireplace effect. Contrasting, lovely, giving it that modern art deco feel with the stone tiling around. I love the greenery, giving that pop of color, bringing some tranquility to the space as well. Now, the pendants above me, the chandelier, and throughout this house, quite Middle Eastern feel to them as you'll continue to see. Moving this way into the kitchen, beautiful kitchen island with this epoxy resin finish on the countertops. I love the white veins that goes through the tones again, dual elevation bar with a contrasting color on the other side with a white stone. And I particularly adore these chairs in front of me. They're the same chairs from the dining room. It's just super well matched with the rest of the house. Now, behind me, we have a beautiful cabinetry that's been custom built in with a lacquered finish. It is a gray stone effect and I think it's beautiful and it contrasts again perfectly with the same tiling which we saw above the fireplace with the ripples in. And I wanna bring our attention to this beautiful gas stove. Firstly, flat iron grill, which I think is amazing to have. But what I particularly love and the detailing of this gas oven are these knobs that light up with a warm uh, LEDs and it, it kind of reminds me of the Back to the Future car and it's quite interesting that we're opposite Universal Studios where you'll find the original Back to the Future car and look how it just fades out to the glow. Just that detail on that gas stove I particularly love. Now, 
Again, got white marble and with a waterfall effect on the other side. And over here, we have a very large sink with a matte black metal finish. And on the faucet itself, it has a brushed gold finish, which I think is very cool. And right in front of me, we have a very large window, which opens up to the outside entertainment area, giving you that indoor outdoor experience. So you can serve drinks from here. Pretty cool. Now, heading to this side of the kitchen, we've got a couple of built-in ovens, a built-in Miele coffee machine. Where are you, Chris? You're there? <laughs> I'm looking over there. That was quite funny. We've got a large fridge and freezer over here. Moving this way, let's check out the guest powder room. Beautiful doors. I love the paneling on the door. Stepping in, modern contemporary bathroom. It has a Victorian take with the tiling on the floor and on the walls and very unique design for the mirrors. We've got a few mirrors around creating that modern art deco effect again. Beautiful vanity station, darker tones on the cabinetry and overall great place for your guests to freshen up. Now heading out of the guest bathroom and through this door in front of me is a laundry room. I just wanted to point that out. Now we're going to head down this hallway around the kitchen to check out the other two bedrooms of the house. The beautiful cabinetry continues with the lacquered finish and the gray stone effect. Beautiful light flooding in from the bedrooms. I'm gonna go into this one first, come with me. So stepping on into the first guest room that we're gonna explore, beautiful cabinetry and behind you, Chris, a massive pocket sliding door which leads to the terrace bringing in natural light. Bed perfectly situated in the center. Obviously this whole house is air conditioned and there is surround sound throughout this home on every level. Now, coming back out, let's see the other room. Stepping into the second bedroom, beautiful doors again with a lovely paneling. They've got it set up as an office right now. Built-in wardrobe over here, walk-in wardrobe. Again, I love this sliding pocket door which just tucks in beautifully leading outside to the entertainment space. Coming this way first, glass window, corner window. I think it's fantastic how we connect to nature by seeing the trees right there. Awesome. Now, stepping on in to the ensuite, which is a shared bathroom with the other room, which I'll show you in a moment how. Dual vanity station. I love the dark cabinetry below, beautiful polished faucets and an LED mirror over here. This door is what opens back up to the hallway, which is why it's a shared bathroom with the first guest room that we saw. Walk-in shower, rain shower head above, got two additional shower heads, one handheld. I think it's beautifully done, very tasteful. And with a very unique tile design around, giving it that modern art deco feel. And through this door is the water closet. Now let's head out of this bathroom and head back past the kitchen to see the lounge area. Come with me. Exquisite views from here. I personally love this space. Walking down, got that natural light coming in, beautiful artwork, and I particularly love the different ceiling elevations and the vaulted ceiling in front of me. And the different elements in this house from all over the world have been brought together in a seamless flow, Middle Eastern, we've got African, and of course, American redwood. I think it's brilliant. Lovely seating area over here with fantastic artwork above again. And to my left, we have the staircase, which has been done with a metal wire and white stone. To my left over here, a pocket sliding door, which opens up to the beautiful outside area. But let's just keep going this way. We have the informal lounge area, which is a fantastic space. We have the artwork, the light flooding in from all different angles, especially this cornered window. And I particularly love the design. Again, the architectural lines and the vaulted ceiling above, which is really special. It is a sparkling black ceiling, giving the effect at night that you're looking up into space. The furnishings in this house have beautiful colors. The tones match perfectly with the floor, the contrasting white chairs in front of me there, the blue over here below the artwork. It's, it's curated beautifully, this space, like a piece of art. And that's what I appreciate most. Over here, we actually haven't brought this up yet. We have an elevator which serves all levels of the house from the ground floor at the garage, which we're yet to see all the way up to the top floor. Now, coming this way, I want us to step on outside. Noticing now, as I'm walking along, we have mood lighting LED strips around on the skirting. 
How incredible is this design of the sliding pocket doors, floor to ceiling that open up beautifully, creating that perfect indoor outdoor flow living experience, which is a must here in California. And just in front of me over here, we have a zero edged pool with the darker tones continuing in. We've got views over Universal Studios, but we'll see those better from the roof deck. Lovely water features. We have the Bacha deck over here with three sun lounges, which I think is fantastic. A little bar seating area over here. Moving this way. I just want to talk about the weather real quick. It is actually quite hot out. When we arrived, it was blue skies. I and mean, maybe you can see behind me, it has become overcast, but I'm sure we will get drone shots for you guys with blue sky. Now, coming down this way, we have the spa jacuzzi area, which has been done with the same tiling that we've been seeing throughout the house, and it has a nice waterfall effect over into the pool. Overall, I give this pool area a 10 out of 10. Over here, we have a cinema screen, which obviously at nighttime is fantastic. We have full barbecue station as well. We've got the fridge, a quartzite stone countertop, and a sink. Moving this way, oh look, here comes the sun. Welcome back. Thank you, just in time. Lovely seating area over here and another cozy seating space with a gas fireplace, which we will get on later for you. Over here to my right, we actually have an in-resident today. Maybe we should introduce Scooby, the biggest dog I've ever seen. Hello, this is Scooby, guys. He does not come with the property, unfortunately, but he is a beautiful dog. Now, coming this way, the breakfast bar area, which we saw from the kitchen. And over here, we have the formal dining area for outside, which obviously serves the pool deck and the barbecue area. And just looking back on the facade, the darker tones of this house with the dark polished concrete looks beautifully, reminding us that there's a lot of natural elements that has been used throughout this house. Now, coming back over here, I wanted to point this out. This is the office, so this is where the office entered onto the outside area. Up to my right, we have a service entranceway which comes from the main road at the back of the property and goes all the way down round to the front of the driveway and the garage, which we'll see that later in the tour. And I'd also like to mention up there, it does go to the roof deck, but we're gonna go back on inside and go downstairs to check out the entertainment area and guest house. I'll see you there. now coming down to this foyer area. And I say foyer because this door in front of me is actually another entranceway to the house from the motor court, which we saw a little bit earlier in the tour. And over here, one of the most unique coffee tables I have ever seen as the whole table is a chessboard. Amazing, exquisite artwork around. I love the different lightings that they have in here. And the flooring, it's got a modern take on a Victorian tiling, which gives it that modern art deco feel. Very cool bicycle with the plants inside. Stepping on into a full bathroom, which serves this level. Walk-in shower, nice tiling around, and a beautiful vanity station. I particularly love this mirror with a brushed metal finish and the a stone countertop. Really cool lights over there and a water closet over here. Now, I'd like to take us back that way and check out the garage, as the garage has been kitted out with gym equipment, a pool table, and a foosball table. Come with me. Stepping on down, really cool space. I love this pool table, almost like an antique. Garage door to my left with a black mirror design. And as you can see, we've got bicycles, we've got surfboards, and awesome gym equipment. Now, I wanna actually take us out this door because this leads us around to the guest house. They are planning to build a gate here, a fence here, 
closing off this space so this will be completely separate from the house. As you'll see in a moment, it's a completely self-catered guest house. It has a little seating area over here and this is another gate which isn't quite hooked up yet. Another service entry which goes from the top road down to the driveway over here. Stepping on in to the guest house. Beautiful space. They've got the same detailing and finishes as the main house. And as you can see, we have a lounge area, a little desk, and a very beautiful kitchen. Great in size, breakfast bar seating. I love the white countertops with the blue veins. The cabinetry, again, would affect with the matte black handles. Little sink over here. This window does open right up to the outside area, which we saw. Built-in appliances. We've got your gas stove, oven, microwave, fridge, freezer. Now through this door is the bedroom. Stepping on in to this beautiful bedroom in the guest house, the gray stone flooring continues on the floor and on the walls. Coming to this side of the bed, I love this reading nook area that they have. Massive bay windows on either side of me, looking over the canopies of the tree, which I think is fantastic, making it super tranquil in here and also keeping it very private. It's the perfect space for family and friends, in-laws, or even to rent out on Airbnb. It's great. Nice balcony terrace over here, a little office area. We've got some built-in cabinetry behind. And through this door is the ensuite. Lovely vanity station again. Beautiful black metal finish on the mirror. Darker cabinetry below. And very interesting wall tilings with a walk-in shower and a rain shower head above. Now, I wanna show you this door does open back up into the main part of the guest house with a lounge area. All right, guys, that does finish the tour on this level. I'm gonna take the elevator up to the second floor. I'll see you there. Stepping on out the elevator, which is hidden beautifully with the cladded door. And I'd like to point out inside the elevator, it has that featured wallpaper that's textured, very nice detailing. On the landing of the top floor, this staircase does lead back down to the kitchen and lounge area. And it really is a beautiful staircase, especially with that unique chandelier, which I've never seen before, Middle Eastern design. Bay window bringing light in and a beautiful view of the canyons above. Now, this is another seating area, cozy space, and very unique detailing on this featured wall, exquisite artwork. We have surround sound, and before we go this way, I'd like to take us outside to this terrace area. Beautiful balcony, sun lounges over here. We've got a resin flooring, which does continue throughout this balcony as it does wrap around to the primary bedroom suite, which we'll see in a moment. Another gas fireplace, dual elevation with exposed concrete design. Canyon views above. I can see a Hil the Hilton Hotel. I can see Universal Studios and I can also see Hogwarts, which is pretty cool. Moving around. Let's go back inside and take a look at the other bedrooms. Come with me. Making our way down the hallway, a little office area over here, and I want us to explore this bedroom first. Come with me. Stepping on in, this is the fourth guest bedroom that we're seeing of the house and a truly unique space. It does come with an ensuite, built-in cabinetry. I love the ceiling heights and this featured darker tone wall over here, giving a nice contrast, cozying up the space a little bit more. So stepping on in to the ensuite, beautiful natural light flooding into this space and I really appreciate this corner window design above, looking over the canyons, I think it's fantastic. 
another great floating vanity design, two tones and the darker tone cabinetry is fantastic. Mirror over here with the LEDs around. Turning this way, we have a walk-in shower with the rain shower head above. Now, stepping out of the bathroom, I'd like to point out that this bedroom does have back garden access again, which we'll see in a moment. Moving this way, I'd like to take us into this room, which is the fifth bedroom of the house. Beautiful built-in cabinetry to my left, a very nice cozy room with, again, outdoor access with a sliding pocket door which leads up to the terrace and another entertainment area out back but we're going to see that in a moment. First I'd like to head across the hallway and check out the bathroom which serves this bedroom. Stepping on in, another beautiful vanity, floating vanity design. I'm just loving these white countertops with the darker tones below. We have the mirror over here with the LEDs around and to my left with a really interesting again very interesting featured wall tile which wraps around in the shower with a rain shower head above and a window there bringing some fresh air. Now stepping out of the bathroom I think it's time we check the primary bedroom suite. Stepping on in to the primary bedroom suite. Now the first thing I notice in this bedroom as soon as I step in is this beautiful featured wallpaper around with a gold shimmer effect making it feel super opulent and luxury in here. Moving on in, I'm noticing the black matte wall that they have to my left with fantastic art right in the center. Beautiful artwork, actually. And over here, the bed is perfectly situated right in the center. Fantastic light piece above, artwork behind, and another one of these Middle Eastern type pendants. I think it's Moroccan, I'm not sure. Let us know in the comments below if you know what country or what culture that piece comes from. Now, moving this way, very cool seating area over here. And in front of me, we have one of those electric heaters with a fireplace effect, cladded in a natural gray stone. And again, a modern art deco tiling around with a screen built into the cavity. Over here, a little office space, which opens up to the balcony terrace. And before we go outside, I'd like to bring this up. We have one walk-in closet on this side. Unfortunately, we don't have access today as it does have owner's belongings. Stepping on outside to the balcony, which wraps around, sliding pocket doors, which go nicely into the wall. We've got this smooth concrete effect on the outside. And look how awesome this view is. I can see Hogwarts. <laughs> Just pointing that, I can see Hogwarts. I know there's a lot of Harry Potter fans out there, which are probably loving that right now. And we can also see over the entertainment area below and the pool deck. Moving this way, we have two sun lounges, which serve the primary bedroom and access to the bathroom. But let's go back on inside and walk across. Over here, we have another set of built-in cabinetry with a beautiful wood. And this is the second walk-in closet, which unfortunately we don't have access to today as it has owner's belongings. But let's step on into the primary bathroom. Now, again, another exquisite space. I love the countertops in here, the nice marbling design with the darker tones below on the cabinetry. Another stone over here, three mirrors, got some windows above, and over here, a makeup station with the same white marble countertop, cabinetry down the sides, and another very large mirror with LEDs around. Beautiful bathtub cladded in the same white marble, two-person spa bathtub with jets and a handheld, a door which opens up to the balcony bringing fresh air in and you can literally lie down in your bathtub and see the Hogwarts in Universal Studios. I'd just like to bring that up. Through this door, a very large water closet space with a window bringing in some natural light and over here in front of me, a very, very large walk-in shower two rain shower heads above, regular shower heads and two handheld showers, bench seating, and again, very unique tiling cladded around. And I've noticed in every bathroom of this house, we have different wall cladding, which I think is super cool. And this one is a gray stone. Now, moving this way, it does continue. We have another shower. So this is the third shower in this walk-in shower with another bench seating and a rain shower head above, but this time a door which opens up outside, giving it that outdoor shower feel. All right, guys, that does wrap up the primary bedroom and I'll see you outside at the steps leading up to the roof deck. I'll see you there.
I'm exiting the door from the bedroom level and we're in this entertainment space. To my right is an entrance into the, one of the guest bedrooms which we saw and just next to you Chris is the entrance into the first guest bedroom which we saw on this level. Nice seating area over here. These steps which you're going to be taking in a moment up to the roof deck, another seating area. I just wanted to come around here quickly to show you we have another space with a table tennis table right in the center and that gate which is slightly open leads up to the back serviceway entrance at the main road. Now let's go back to the stairs and head up to see the roof terrace. Coming up we have footlights below and what's unique about that service entrance is if you have guests around or you or you're throwing a party and you're only utilizing the garden area or the roof deck they can enter through that entrance which has done, been done beautifully with a red wood finish. Now stepping up to this roof terrace. This place is fully kitted out for entertainment. We have a formal dining area over here, a full kitchen setup, barbecue, warmers below, gas, stove, fridge, and a sink with electrical points. Now heading this way, I wanna bring up the two seating areas, one to my left over here, another seating area to my right, all looking out over at the views of Universal Studios. And over here, another L-shaped seating area, and it's cozied up with this dual elevated gas fireplace, which must be exquisite in the evening. Sitting up here at night must be awesome. Now, over here, we have views over the Hollywood canyons and beautiful estates, and we're above the tree line, so it keeps it real private in this house. And in front of me, this way, we have I mean, the first thing I can see is the Hogwarts Tower, which is really, really cool and super special. We have Waterworld, you can see the Hilton, NBC Universal, which is great. Now moving this way, got other views. We can see the other side of Hollywood Hills. In fact, I can see the Hollywood sign. I can see the H. I mean, this is fantastic. And the being above the canopies of the trees not only makes it super tranquil, but it keeps this house super private from the neighbors beyond. Now, I just wanted to ask you, Chris, what you think about Universal Studios being right there because you've been edging to go this whole trip in LA and we haven't managed to go because we've just been so busy touring properties. But you got pretty close, right? Yeah, no, growing up as a kid, I had Harry Potter as my dream and Listen, being able to be this close to it, <laughs> even though we're working, it's good enough for me. It's good enough. It's pretty cool. Maybe All right. when we come out again and uh, tour, we can definitely take a stop, pit stop at... Yeah, we'll yeah. try. We'll try for sure. All right, guys, that does finish up the roof deck. And now I'll see you downstairs. All right, guys, that does bring us to the end of another awesome episode here on Alia Homes in Hollywood Hills, showcasing this beautiful listing going for $5,995,000. If you are interested in purchasing this property, just send me an email. My contacts are in the section below. I'd like to give another big thanks to Sally Foster Jones and Alonza Kurt for inviting us into their listing today. And again, if you have any comments, drop them in the section below. We would love to know your thoughts on the design of this property. Like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.